We are on top of developing news in New London this morning. Two people are dead and police are investigating two separate shootings and a fire that all happened last night. It was a very busy night. So let's turn things over to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo, who is live at the scene where investigators have been for several hours now. Audrey, what can you tell us? Nicole, that's right. It was a busy evening now spilling over into a busy morning. And what we've learned is that this incident was fatal. You can see crews are still on the scene investigating surrounding the building at 48 Granite Street. Now we're learning from police that they were evacuating that building as it burned last night. And as they were doing that, they found two people, one who was already dead and one who needed to be sent to the hospital, who also later died from their injuries. Now the calls came in before before 8 o'clock last night for a shooting and as police were en route, that's when they learned that there was also a fire at the scene. But police didn't say how the first victim died and they're not releasing any names. So we don't know if it was the shooting or the fire that proved fatal in this incident. Now there was also a second shooting that took place on Jefferson Ave about a mile away. And we've also learned this morning that no one was injured in that incident. Police say that there were bullet holes reported in a house and they say it was not a random act. However, they're still not connecting it to this incident here on Granite Street. Now, this apartment does house several units, and we're told that several families had to be evacuated last night, and they're being helped by the Red Cross. Also, last night at New London, a police officer need to be treated for smoke inhalation. They're asking anybody with information on any of these incidents, either the one on Jefferson Ave or the one here on Granite Street, to please come forward. Reporting live in New London, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.